What's up guys, it's Michael, iAppliedTech here, and today I am finally updating my 2014 gaming setup. Now I've been getting comments, tweets, personal messages, even emails telling me to finally update my gaming setup for 2014. So here the video is. If you guys have any questions throughout this video, whether you know how do I afford all this stuff, uh, what consoles do I like the most, or just questions in general, I'm going to have a new question and answer video up. Uh, the same day I upload this video, so you can click the annotation on the screen right now, or if you're on a mobile device, go ahead and click the link in the description below. That'll open up a new tab for you, and hopefully some of those questions you have will be answered. If you have any other questions after that, you can always tweet me at iAppliteTech. Um, I often can respond a lot faster on Twitter uh, than on YouTube, especially with the new comment system. It just sucks. But other than that, guys, let's go ahead and just start 2014 gaming setup, or room tour, or whatever you want to call it. Alright, so here we go. Here is everything again. Just a quick glance, we'll go ahead and uh, uh, take like close-up shots and I'll get closer and stuff. But let's go ahead and uh, just start where I actually film all my videos. I am using my DSLR again, so I apologize. I um, might have to focus a little bit. Still got the blue snowball up there. I now have a pop filter. Not sure if I had that in the last video. Uh, I got a USB cable, uh, also connected to it, a long one. That uh, microphone is usually right here if I'm filming a video. Or sometimes it's over there by the iMac. Um, we do have the iMac and the PC right there. We'll get to those eventually. Uh, so here are all my lights again. Uh, I got four of them. I got the tripod still mounted on uh, the ceiling for the overhead shot as well as a tripod down there. And then we got an old uh, computer down there that I got in one of my computer classes last year. And then we got case for the lighting uh, too. I do try to keep it fairly clean down here. Um, it's a little hard when everything's black to keep it dust free, but I attempt to. I got a 2014 Camaro5.com calendar. So shout out to Camaro5.com. Um, I did have to pay for this, not like they're sending it to me for free, uh, not like I'm doing an ad for them, but I do have a Camaro, um, so I got a Camaro, and I'm on Camaro5.com on the form on there. So I wanted one of these calendars, and it's pretty cool. Well, down here, I just have some game guides I'm trying to sell and some slippers. Nothing special. Up here is the interwebs, all the connections for it, as well as my uh, time capsule to back up everything wirelessly. But that's just kind of boring stuff. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go over here this time. We'll go to my, my bathroom room later. That's boring stuff. So I have changed the posters a little bit. I have Halo Reach, Walking Dead, Ted, uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, and The Hangover. I do have a couch now. Uh, last year I had two chairs. So now I have a couch, which I like a lot better. Here are all my games. I'll go ahead and uh, kind of just, uh, just kind of zoom in on them so you guys can see what I have. So we have Xbox One on the way right. And the uh, 360 games and a few Xbox games. They got the Wii U, the PS3. Uh, I got some Bioshock and Skyrim right there. A few just uh, controllers. And the Dishonored pre-order bonus that I got. Uh, I got a few Blu-ray movies too now. Uh, I'm sure can you guys see all those. There you can see them. Home Alone 2. I got that uh, for 10 bucks on Black Friday. Had to get, got, got to get Steve Jobs, of course. I got a few others in there. I got a few other things down there, and then we have this Skyrim uh, art book that came with uh, the Legendary Edition. Still got the same TV, as much as I would love a 85 inch 4K one. Still got the same TV. Uh, we got the Kinect, the Xbox Kinect 2.0 mounted to it. A Wii U sensor, and then a Turtle Beach receiver right there, which is hard to see, because like I said, everything's like black down here. Here we got the Xbox One, the 360, the PS3, and the Wii U. Again, hard to see when it's black on black. I do attempt to keep my cables sort of managed. <laughs> it gets a little hard when you have a ton. Uh, down here, we just got my DVR and then a few gaming things. I got the Wii balance board down there, some Wii remotes, nunchucks and stuff. Taking a look over here, I got a whole bunch of drawers. This basically just holds cords, uh, a few collector's edition things on top of that. And then we got a Halo Reach collector's edition box down there. Got even more games over here. I'll go ahead and uh, kind of just zoom in again. On, uh, on the games, there's the controllers up top, so there's all the games. If I'm going fast, just pause the video. Alright. Gotta have Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed, probably one of my favorite third person games of all time. I still got all these drawers here uh, that just holds cords and random stuff probably really messy in there. I should really organize those drawers. I got the Wii U gamepad, uh, Turtle Beach X42s, two remotes, one for the TV, one for the DVR. Um, I believe I had, I had a ton of remotes there last year. I kind of got rid of some and put some away that I didn't use. A Wii U Pro controller, 360 controller, and the Xbox One controller. Just got a water bottle in my clock there. And below here I actually have, you can kind of see that, 
that green glowy thing, you see another Xbox One controller down there, as well as right next to it is a 360 a 360 charger right there. Uh, but the Xbox One uh, charger thing that it's on, I'm actually gonna have a review of coming soon. Um, so stay tuned to that. I have an Assassin's Creed limited edition flag there, which you got with the limited edition um, set. Uh, framed Halo 4 Game Informer magazine, which is reflecting off of my bathroom or something. There we go. I just thought that was a really cool magazine, so I wanted it framed. Still got the pop corn machine. Still got the little troll on top. Uh, I got another old computer here. Like I said, the uh, that's the monitor for it. The case, like I said, I got from my computer class. And then I got the monitor for it over there. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. Don't know where to put it. We got a laptop case right there. And then I'm standing on top of the treadmill right here. I got a few other things down here. But I moved, I flipped the treadmill again to face the TV. Because I kind of like better facing the TV. I don't know. I can always flip it back and forth. But right now, it's flipped that way. Maybe next year, it'll be flipped the other way. Who knows? Move this chair in here. And you can see, I have uh, changed this a little bit. I got a few of the boxes from Apple stuff right there. But I also got the Grand Theft Auto V as well as a few statues right there. Got an Angry Bird, uh, a few stickers, a few LEDs that I upgraded uh, in my car so that they had brighter lights. Still got that same lamp. Um, that stand, iPhone stand, I believe it's for the iPhone 4S and below. I'm trying to actually sell that uh, on Amazon. Then we got a whole bunch of documentation here. I got all my pay stubs from work. Uh, I got school all uh, right there. And then we got, what is that? Is that receipts? No, that's school paper on the bottom. On the bottom of school paper, on the middle must be receipts, and on the top must be my pay stubs. Here's a Zugu case, Prodigy case, for the iPad Air that will be coming soon to review. Very, very awesome case. Sneak peek again. Still got my printer on top of a Club Nintendo 2014 calendar that you got for being, you know, one of the one of the members. Not sure. I believe I got that in 2012 for being a Club Nintendo member. So here's I got the same chair still. Move that out. Oh, and below here we just have uh, in that box is stuff I'm kind of trying to sell. Uh, I got a speaker system there. We uh, I often bring that time in the summer. I bring that outside for having campfire or something. We can listen to music. It's kind of just like portable. It goes around the house and stuff. If we have parties or something, that that thing works well. Um, okay, over here <laughs> I have in here I have a few Best Buy pre-order games. Uh, still got the head massager. A lot of you guys like this. Still got the head massager. I'm gonna put that back in there. I'll clean it. I'll clean everything up later. If I mess it up, um, I still got this little thing here, and on top of it I have a Lamborghini Aventador and a Hot Wheels Edition a ZL1 Camaro. I got a Marware mini stand here, this thing's real cool. Basically it just amplifies the noise. It's kind of like this, only this one's a lot louder, but that one's a lot more affordable. Okay, in here I got, oh god, I'm going to have to explain that card. But I got this little clip here for my name badge at work. Hopefully, it's going to get in dark here, let me see if I can brighten this. Okay, that looks a little better, and then in here we have a... Shooting Star matches that I got from uh, Shooting Star Casino in Manoa, Minnesota. Let me know if any of you guys live there. I go up there to gamble. I've been up there only twice to gamble at the casino with a few co-workers. I do have a Kohl's card. Now, the only reason I have a Kohl's card is because I got a discount when I was buying my girlfriend something for her birthday and Christmas. So, that's the only reason I have a Kohl's card. I don't ever shop there. But, yeah, that's why that's just chilling there. I'm going to cancel that probably tomorrow or something. Because I don't want it. I just want the discount. Um, let's see if I can turn this down again. Okay, and then right here we got some post-it notes and stuff. Inside here I keep twist ties and rubber bands to help keep cords organized. I got the iPad right here. Uh, in here we have the RC uh, Camaro ZL1. Uh, you got a little mushroom thing, a little Android. A uh, second monitor that's connected to the iMac. Still got the same speaker system. Still got the same headphones. Uh, I got the Angry Birds poster right there. And then the uh, Halo 4 frame poster and a $2 bill right there. Not sure if I had that last year, but still got the iMac. Same computer as last year. Still got the dual keyboards, and I still got the hole in the wall. So if you guys are wondering what that is, go ahead and watch the question and answer video. I'll answer it there. But yep, still got the hole in the wall. Got garbage over here. Garbage, subwoofer, and then uh, just storage containers for stuff. Here's the PC. Uh, connected to, I believe this is a 24-inch monitor. I uh, just downloaded Stanley the Parable uh, when it was on sale for Steam. So I'm going to be playing that soon. Actually, go ahead and uh, zoom in a little bit here. So you guys can see all my games. A lot of them are older games, just because I mainly mainly play on my console, just because I like it more. Uh, but, you know, there are some PC exclusives, and I have a lot of repeats that I got from, like, Humble Bundle that I also have on console, or something like that. But those are all my Steam library games. Uh, I got the Logitech G110 gaming keyboard still. Still got the Razer Abyss coaster, the second speaker. 
Still got this wooden chair, ton of magazines. And then we also have the PC right here, which I'm gonna cut to a clip, showing off all the uh, parts of it right now. All right, so here's a quick look at the PC. Um, all around it is the Corsair Obsidian 650D. Uh, pretty expensive computer case. Uh, I believe it's 150 to 200 bucks. But I really wanted this one. It's got lots of room for upgrades. Uh, it comes with lots of base storage. It's very easy to hide the cords here. Uh, I think I did a decent job of hiding the cords. It could have done a little better. And it's uh, very compatible with many uh, motherboards and things like that. It also came with this uh, clear window, which goes right over here. So I wanted that so I could be able to see uh, the actual parts inside the computer. So let's go ahead and start taking a look at everything we have in the computer. Got a 600 watt. Uh, Corsair power supply. We got the Gigabyte Z77 D3H uh, motherboard, which I'd like to get a more powerful motherboard, um, but this is, you know, it's fine for now. Got a network card right here. Got a 2 Gigabyte Superclock GTX 660 uh, powering the graphics right now. An LED fan right here, stock uh, fan that came with the case. Uh, LED fan right here. I do have a stock uh, Intel cooling fan just because I'm not using that powerful apostor. It's not overclocked or anything. And the stock fan does fine. It doesn't make any difference in performance. Uh, the actual processor is the Intel i5 2400 3.1 gigahertz processor. I would like to upgrade that. If I could upgrade anything I wanted in this computer, it'd be the motherboard and the processor, and and probably the stock cooling fan too. 16 gigabytes of RAM over there. 500 gigabyte HDD, and the below it is a Crucial 64 gigabyte 2.5 inch SSD uh, that just has the OS running on it. Got a DVD, CD drive up there. And other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this bill is actually kind of expensive just because, like I said, the case. I believe when I bought it was about 190 bucks. The SSD was still really expensive at the time. I have replaced the graphics card since uh, my last video. But basically, I kind of spent money on things. I should have spent money elsewhere. Maybe instead of getting this nice of a case or an SSD, I should have gotten a better processor, a better motherboard. But what's done is done, and uh, this computer works, it runs games very well, and I like it a lot. But like I said, if I could upgrade anything, it'd probably be the motherboard and the processor and a different uh, a CPU cooling fan. Okay, so continuing on, we have a backpack over here, dehumidifier, blankets, storage room, laundry room, vacuum stairs to go upstairs, and we're back here. Let's go ahead, take a peek in the bathroom, because the bathroom's awesome. Just a standard bathroom. Usually this isn't here. Usually last year there's a rug right here and that wasn't even here and there's no towels up there. But our upstairs shower, which is the nice one, is actually has a leak right now. So we can't do anything. I got a shower down here, which really sucks because this shower is crappy. Um, yeah, I still got my dresser in here with a few things on top of it. Coin, you know, all that stuff. You guys can see. Got over here. A sink. A whole bunch of stuff on it. This isn't really tech. Down there I got the... I was sick like a month ago. And that uh, basically just helped me breathe better at night. Um, what would you call it? A purifier, I guess. Uh, here's my room again. This may have changed a little bit. I don't know. It's hard for me to remember what has and hasn't changed. There's the Angry Birds poster. So I got the Red Wings posters. And I still have my window. My window hasn't moved. Hockey sticks. I have a ton of subwoofers down here. Uh, those were in the Camaro. I'm selling those and getting louder ones. These were in the truck. Um, selling those already have louder ones in there with a different amp. Uh, same with that, selling that amp. Um, got a heater in here because where I live, it gets down. We, were had, we had negative 60 wind chill a month ago, which is the coldest I've ever experienced. But yeah, that's why I have a heater down here because we have very cold weather. Got an iHome still. Uh, heated electric blanket uh, controller. Got a Kindle right there. iPad holder. Charge it. More storage. Poster frames. You guys want to know where I get my poster frames? Go watch question and answer video. But yeah, still got a ton of poster frames there. I'm not sure. Was that there in the last video? I'm not sure. Moving over here, still got some books. And I still got the airplane back there. The MacBook Pro. Or the MacBook. Uh, just the MacBook, I believe. I'm forgetting the name of this. What is this thing called? The iBook. Not the MacBook. The iBook. Very old uh, Apple laptop. I still got all this stuff. If you guys saw my setup last year, you know what I'm saying by I still got. But if you knew, then this is all everything I got in my room. A desk and all this. And then we have my closet. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. 2014 gaming setup. It's kind of, I've kind of moved more things around a lot. i uh, gotten new things, not as much, other than the consoles and some games. Um, but I haven't really gotten anything big, kind of. Well, it's still looks kind of the same to me, because I see it every day. Uh, but maybe it looks a little different to you. Did get the boxes out of the way from last year. Uh, boxes are now upstairs in the storage room. So yeah, this is everything. This is where I edit the videos, and this is where I film them. So yeah, this is my 2014 gaming setup. I'll see you guys in a, in a year in 2015. 
So yeah, that's it. 2014 gaming setup is done. Uh, in a year, you guys can bug me. I won't be uploading any more gaming setups until 2015 of January. So in a year from now, go ahead and spam me with comments again if you want. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Uh, if you missed my last year's gaming setup, you can go ahead and watch that. Click an annotation or a link in the description to watch that video. And uh, you can see what's changed. Like I said, if you have any questions, the new question and answer video is up. I also have last year's question and answer video. If you're new to the channel and you want to subscribe, please do so. I have unboxings, reviews, lots of tech videos. I also have a few car videos that I'll probably upload around May, June when uh, summer comes and it's warmer here. So if you're into cars too, that might be something you want to see. If you're already a subscriber, thank you for being subscribed. I'll have a new video up. Hopefully in a few days. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. I'll see you guys soon.